not leaving this planet for a bit, and I'm sorry. Uh, we're gonna do Yohani's uh, stuff. She's a single bladed Jedi, which uh, she's a Jedi Guardian, which so she focuses more on combat, which is not a bad bad thing to have actually. Uh, let me do do this before I forget. So I'm gonna do our levels levels up level ups now, uh, because that's one less thing to do later. Yeah, Johanny. I actually really like having Johanny in my party, and I do believe she comes with a robe as well. Yeah, she does. What else do we have for her? Okay. How can I help? Guess she has nothing more to say. How may I be? Okay, so I guess no one has anything more to say. Let's bring Cart Cart out though, just to be double sure. Yes. What's on your mind? Okay. Yeah. Um. Fine. Let's save, because I don't want to have to redo it, all of that again. And do a double save as well. Alright then, so that's uh, all the companion stuff done. That's going to be a couple of videos with a lot of talking and I'm sorry about that, but uh, the sooner we get those companion quests, the better. Alright, so our first planet is going to be Kashyyyk. Because, uh, well, there's a very specific reason why I want to do Kashyyyk first, and you'll see pretty soon. Lord Malik, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malik. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malik. Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malik. Kalo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kalo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me, there is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kalo has to tell you about Bastion and some other companions, Lord Malak. Force has given us a, a vision, like the one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The Force is strong with us both. Kashek is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. It looked like a star map was on the forest floor. The Wookiees of Kashek make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only their bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. If the star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, 
It's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Alright, so we're on Kashyyyk. Um, How can you I wish help? to talk to me? I do. I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zar. I think we both know the real reason you've been watching me. You never give up, do you? I admit, I'm interested in you. I find you intriguing, compelling even, but it's not what you think. You have a great gift. You have an awesome command of the Force, and I tremble when I think of how you might misuse it. I make you tremble? Do you get all tingly inside too? What? I, no, of course not. Not like that anyway. In many ways, you are... you are dangerous. You could be the savior of the galaxy, or you could bring untold destruction upon us all. I've seen how you've resisted many temptations and continue to walk the path of the light side. Very commendable. But I'm afraid you might stray from this path. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety. For it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this. But I will do my best to make you understand. Uh, what are you trying to tell me? The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, a temptation, or to use the force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it. To release all its terrible power and it becomes harder and harder to resist and once you stop resisting it's too late it twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for seem to know uh, that temptation very well i am no less resistant to temptation than any other i simply have the benefit of training that you do not but even the training of the jedi might not be enough to save us we need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? I couldn't see myself ever doing such things. That is why the dark side is so insidious. If you are not careful, you do not even see each small step you take towards it until it's too late. It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror. That we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened. So we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side. Even when the battle becomes wearying. Do whatever is required, such as? I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. Okay. How can I help? So we get some more uh, talking with her right away. Yes, what's in your mind? Nothing from Karth. Kurt's probably gonna be quiet a little bit. <coughs> Not right, what do you mean? Things. We have a new side quest now. Or we will have. Let's see. She has nothing. Candorus won't be talking to us until we finish his side quest. Um, Alright, let's do this. Strangely, the food storage seems to have been disturbed lately. No one in the party could have done this. There must be some other explanation. Examine the supplies more closely. They're half eaten or torn packages to indicate the theft was from pets or vermin. It's why some unknown persons began to clandestine raids on your stores. Whoever the thief is, they have managed to avoid detection by you or your companions so far. Maybe a third of the search of the ship will reveal the stowaway. Yes, yeah, so we have a stowaway on the ship, apparently. Um. 
You think you hear the soft pattern of footsteps behind you, but when you stop to listen, there is nothing. So yeah, there's multiple places you have to walk inside the ship in order to find said stowaway. Uh, which all ends up being right here, this little girl. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Hey, what are you doing here? Selima wanga kunbikin. Don't understand what you're saying. Mucho shakapaka. I still don't understand you. Yeah, so we have to learn this girl's language basically to talk to her. Mucho shakapaka. Uh, can you tell me your name? Point to yourself. Mucho shakapaka. Sasha, your name is Sasha, right? Mucho shakapaka. Try to learn Sasha's strange language. Tonki ba non tontek. Many of the words you're speaking are Mandalorian. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Mandalore, that's your word for Mandalorians. So you do know of them. Selima wanga kun biking. But you're a Mandalorian child then. Kipuna, bona na kichu. So you're human, you learned your words fr from somewhere though. Try to learn. Uh, S1, not S1. I see you, or you see me. You're hiding. Now S1 is hide. Don't get all of that, but sure. Bri Bristag, what is that? There's a thing, something around here. Bristag, it means starship, doesn't it? Dong abuk shami no nok. Lafsa. Everything is safe, is that it? Tong ki ba non tontek. Panel. That's what. Uh, you sleep there. Lafsa means sleep. Tong abuk shami no nok. It's. No, I don't understand. Tong ki. Uh. Kipuna. Bona na kichu. Uh, the panel, all of this, is your home. Lafsa means home. Kipuna, bona na kichu. You're hiding in the starship. It's your home, I understand. You said that before. What is Gun Deason? Something about me, yes, but what? It's something you like. Yes, Gun Deason means you like it. You like me, I understand. Selima wanga kun biking. Nah, abts. You said that when I first found you. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Ad, abts mean hit. Is that it? Kipuna, bona na kichu. So abts is hurt. To hurt. Now abts means not hurt. Is that it? Tonki ba non tontek. I understand. No, I won't hurt you. Tonki ba non tontek. Yum. What kind of word is that? It's part of the ship, a room. Yum, you mean food, don't you? Yum is food. Uh, Nukis, is that all one phrase? The floor, Nukis means floor. You're not speaking now, Nukis means now. Now Nukis is not now or before. Kipuna, bona na kichu. You want some food now? You're hungry. Tonki ba non tontek. Tab at you? What do you mean? Mucho shakapaka. You want, you want me to tell you a story about what? Tonki ba non tontek. So, tab it means tell me about it. I get it. Tonki ba non tontek. And now we can talk to her in her language. Mucho shakapaka. What are you hiding on my ship? Selima wanga kun biking. You came to the ship before? You were scared. Why? Kipuna, bona na kichu. Left the Mandalorians and hid here on the ship? Tonki ba non tontek. You don't want to leave. The Ebon Hawk is your home. Tong abuk shami no nok. The Ebon Hawk is not your home. Not your first home, anyway. 
Tong abuk shami no no. Tell me about your home before. Tong ki ba non tong. Dantuin, maybe someone on Dantuin remembers you. So that's all we need from her. Uh, with that we can easily find. We can easily I we can easily find where she is from. Or where she has to go. Well, in order to complete the quest we can find the person we need to find basically. Uh, I think that's gonna be enough for today. I'm up to two hours. We've done a lot of talking and stuff today, a lot of progress with companion. We got our main story mission. So yeah. Uh thank you all so much for watching. And next time we'll explore Kashik, the home of the Wookiees. Bye all and have a lovely day.